Today is the day that we finally open up what turned out to be the highlight of my first weekend of Lego hunting at the community yard sales. I ended up finding this Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set, 79117 Turtle Layer Invasion. I got this for $5 and I kept it sealed purposely because I wanted to get into this with you and we're gonna do exactly that right now. Before we cut this open for the first time, let me just set the stage here and say that this set pre-owned, if it's complete, is worth about $120. The interesting part of this though, is that if this has the Shredder minifig, that minifig alone goes for about $70 on BrickLink, and the Donatello goes for about 45. So this is a rare situation where two minifigs from this set are worth about the price of the set. So regardless of whether this is complete or not, my ultimate dream and goal is that those two minifigs are in there because that would just make this an absolute slam slam dunk of a deal, but even if they're not $5 for a Lego set inbox, I think we did pretty well for ourselves. But let's find out for sure as we actually finally break into this. If that felt like a sufficient amount of hype for you, go ahead and leave a like on the video. But let's get into this and see. First thing I'm seeing, manuals not folded. Thank you. Second manual. And now everything's loose in here, not bagged or anything. So we'll just dump this out and our fate will be revealed as everything comes out of here. I'm not seeing any minifigs yet. Where are they? Oh, there's a bag. There's a bag, there's stickers. Never applied stickers, what happened? Box is empty. Let's see what we got here. On first glance, it's not looking good for us, my friends, although I'm seeing a torso right here. Let's keep digging. See if we have anything else. I'm not seeing it in this pile at all. Shredder, are you in there? I just see legs. I think all of our collective hopes and dreams are being dashed simultaneously right now. Pump this out. Just for good measure and we'll see if there's anything in here that resembles minifigs and no. No, there's nothing. I was feeling so confident in this set. The way that it was there, the price, everything just seemed like it was going to be right. And then all the pieces look like they're there. Obviously I haven't inventoried this yet, but the minifigs are MIA. So maybe he pulled them considering that he wanted the minifigs and just didn't care about the set. I didn't really ask any questions. I didn't say, hey, is it complete? Do you mind if I open it up for $5? Like, why would you even bother? I feel like I got my money's worth here for the $5. I just didn't get like a crazy score that I was, I guess, hoping for. And uh, definitely a little bit of a let down here because I was just going to be like hamming it up when uh, Shredder came out of here and I was going to be all excited about it. But now I'm left with just some parts that are going to go into the inventory and that's okay. I could probably sell this sticker sheet, make a couple bucks back. Maybe I'll sell the, the manuals. Maybe I'll just see if the rest of the set's complete because you know, it might be worth doing that. Maybe we'll inventory it and see how close we are to the set being here minus the minifigs. I don't know how this happened, but this somehow just became a Star Wars set. Just kidding, Star Wars detectors. I love you guys, but here's all the pieces all sorted out in colors for proper inventorying. And I have a correction to make. We do, in fact, have a minifig in here and it's not Shredder, because who would want him? It's not Donatello, lame, Splinter, lame. It's a foot soldier. We have one foot soldier who doesn't even want to be in focus. He's so ashamed of himself. But apparently the kid didn't want two of them because there were two in here. Uh, so we have one. I've got one foot soldier. And for $5 with all these pieces, pretty good. I'll go down through the inventory list. We'll start with the black and we'll see how far we get before any pieces are missing. Because as soon as that happens, I'll probably be out. I've got all the pieces in the bowl here with the exception of the ones that I had to add from my collection. And that's what you're seeing here. So this is nowhere near being complete. The only question is, can I complete it with the pieces that I have? Uh, the answer currently is no, because I'm missing one of these. And I really don't want to have to make a brick link order to complete this. So I'm thinking this is probably just going to end up as inventory in my collection. Not only that, but we're missing the blue skateboard and wheels. Also, there's a motorcycle that comes with this set as well. That right there, the kid decided to keep that too. Just for funsies, I'm going to go ahead and inventory the next color, which is dark bluish gray. And we'll see how close we are with that 
in terms of completeness. Just got that all inventoried and I'm sad to announce that things are not getting any better here. In fact, I think they're getting worse. All the elements you see here all need pieces added to them to make them complete. So you can see just how much this set is missing. And I think the verdict on this set so I don't waste any more of my time with inventorying is that this is just going to be inventory. This is just going to get parted out into my collection, which is probably the worst fate for any Lego yard sale set. Like ideally this would get built or sold or some life happening to it. But with the minifigs missing and other elements missing from this, I'm just going to part it out. So unfortunately for me, and I guess for you, since we're on this journey together, my biggest yard sale win of the weekend turned into the biggest bust, but not in terms of parts, because we definitely got our $5 worth there in terms of Lego pieces, but it was our expectations that were dashed, thinking of this set being complete for $5 with all those expensive minifigs in there. Sure got me excited, but... I was a little let down by it today and then also finding out that not only the minifig's not there, but a lot of the parts from the set aren't either. It just kind of became uh, a little bit of a dud. But yard sale season, season is young. We got lots more stuff out there to find and to score. And I'm sure I'll be making more videos, hopefully sharing all kinds of great things that I find. And this is just the, the stepping stone to the next great thing. So on that, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this journey in Lego yard sale scores turns into busts. I hope you have a glorious rest of your day. And we'll see you in the next video.